начинается. Welcome. Really, Chromaverse? Shush! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from TechLag.info, and today we have a replay from TJ, uh, TJ? TJ Cat in his dum -dum -dum, IS-8. Let's take a look at the matchup here. Triple IS-7s on the enemy team. Ooh. That is going to be painful, possibly. Um, I have never driven the IS-8. I have never tried it out on a test server, and I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like a tank I would really want to do. Puts a nice shot into the I-7, dodges his return shot, tries to get another shot in before the I-7 reloads, but this object has other plans to park right in front of him and then just get shot to hell. So DJ here is thinking like, you know, bugger off, not being helpful there. Puts a nice shot into the I-7, I have no idea what this object was thinking. There was no scenario that he was going to come out of that without, you know, taking massive loads of damage and probably getting tracked. TJ is trying to bait a shot from the IS-7 here. Um, so, I don't know, from what I've heard, a lot of people say that this tank is pretty bad. And, ooh, that was dangerous. I'm, I'm not sure, but that might have been a very small opportunity there for the IS-7 to actually hit him. You got a tank coming out here. Put one into his lower plate. Let me use it. One 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 four. Um, I have no idea how many ones are in that name. Too many. Put another nice shot into his lower plate. Conqueror tries to put one in. I don't think he actually managed to. It's a bit tight here. There's a couple too many tanks in a very small space here. T125 is probably going to peek out to get the kill on the. There. I will take a wow. Was that a heat shell from the Japanese E100 that just hit our tracks and did nothing? Narrowly avoiding the artillery there. I think we took, yeah, we took some damage from the RD. Not a whole lot. Conqueror gets shot in the face for 300 damage. Yikes. Let me wait for anybody to peek out. Is that IS 7? Yes, he is. <laughs> Take off the IS 7 there. At least get one of those tier 10s out of the equation. Ooh, crap. Another tank taken out. Very nice. E50 and peeking out. Oh, we could have had a shot at him. Oh, we still can. Come on. Put a nice shot into his engine deck. Take another shot from the Jack PZE100. Into the tracks. Again with this heat ground by the sounds of it. Not entirely sure if it was heat, but it. The. the, the very big guns in the game also have a slightly different sound. I'm not sure if it's just because it's a big gun or if it's actually heat, but so far the uh, Jack PZ E100 hasn't done a single point of damage to us. Oh, yeah, a bit of a bad shot there. Angling, and we bounce him, and we will reload before he does. Nice shot into the lower plate. Come on, there we go. Finish him off. Um, on second thought, I don't think those Jack PZE 100 shots were heat. I think there was just a large caliber gun that made that sound. Put one into the superstructure of the Jack PZE 100. Base is being defended by a friendly IS-7. Are we gonna reload in time to finish him off? Oh, reels. Yes, there we go. Get the kill on him. And, well, the remaining enemy team is just spread out a bit, I guess. Last four. So far we had a pretty good game. Um, bounced a couple of shots, but mostly just avoided getting shot. Found the Conqueror, who bounces a shot on us, put one into his front plate there, ram him for the last remaining bit of damage. Well done. Last one alive is the artillery. Last one dead is the artillery. Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats, and um, I want to well, start off the stats part at least by saying happy birthday TJ Cat. If I'm not mistaken, your birthday was right around this time. I didn't release a video yesterday because I normally don't on Tuesday, so no video yesterday, but yeah, better late than ever, right? It's only one day, so happy birthday. And that's why we're featuring you. Yes, I did not forget. <laughs> I actually remembered, which is kind of a miracle because I'm usually not that great at remembering that kind of shit. So yeah, happy birthday. Um, Master Batch Ace Tanker, and from what I gathered from the um, description in the email that he sent me is that he's actually had better games in it but they were never ace tankers it's funny how that works i've had that too where 
had brilliant games doing like 1200 experience um you know doing tons of damage first class like how the hell what did people do in this tank a week later or two weeks later you do an 1100 you know or just just barely 1100 experience game is like the that's pretty lame you know didn't do a whole lot ace tanker huh <laughs> it can fluctuate so badly in some tanks and especially when tanks come out you know just new tanks um yeah it can fluctuate quite severely from week to week but anyways yeah ace tanker we got a fire for effect fighter duelist and a bruiser um, I don't really have much to say about this game, as in, you know, hints, tips, or anything like that. 4.2k damage, while not being fantastic super duper, definitely just... It was such... I don't want to say an easy game, but... I mean, yeah, they did waltz over the enemy team, let's be honest. But still, it just felt so calm and relaxed and in control, and just... You get a shot, and you get a shot, and you get a shot to the face. And it's just, yeah, um, 1,278 single experience, which is pretty damn nice. Like I said, close to 4.3k damage. Fire 12, hit 12, pen 11. Not sure which shots didn't pen. Oh, right, in the uh, IS-7's lower plate and angle. Yeah, that is difficult. Um, Not sure how much pen this gun has. Not entirely sure. I think it's 230? Give or take, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, yeah, hits received five, one of them penetrated, four did not. Is, let me know in the comments down below, guys. What is it with this tank? Because I've hear, I've, I've heard, heard, yes, I've heard conflicting things about this tank. Um, I heard some people who say it's a pretty good tank, and I've heard people basically bash their head against the wall of how bad this thing is. What is it? Um, has this thing been buffed that I don't know about? That it's been, you know, getting better? Or is it just how you drive it? Or what is going on with this tank? I'd love to know. Don't worry, I have no... No, I... Yeah, yeah, I might get to it at some point, but right now I have no plans whatsoever to go down this line at all. Um, I have a KV-4, I'm not even planning going any further than that. I have the IS-3 researched, so I could buy it at any point. I even have the money, but just, yeah, doesn't seem like that interesting of a tank, really. I'm really not that interested in most of the tier 10s. Most of them look like pretty much garbage. Um, anyways, so, made 39k profit with a premium account. Even without a premium account, on a tier 9 tank, making 18k profit is not bad at all. Then again, you know, firing 12, hitting 12, penning 11 is a pretty good ratio. Um, and that's the thing, in tier 9 and tier 10 tanks, just, if you want to make money, make your shots count. Make sure that pretty much every single shot you fire goes in and penetrates and does damage. If you do that, you can make a profit. If you just shoot and hope for good luck it will pen, you're more than likely going to lose money. Also, not getting shot really helps. Um, and a grand total of 1917 experience with a premium account. So, congratulations on this game and congratulations on a life, I guess. You leveled up. <laughs> you got more experience. Woohoo! And survived another year. Woohoo! Onwards to the next one. Yay! Um, <laughs> so, are you 100% yet? You know, do you get any skills yet? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, so many lame jokes I can make. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.